Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so part eight here, and what we're given looks like uh, what we're given in part six, but our approach here is very different. All right, first of all, in part six, we weren't given a sum, and here we are given a sum. And uh, what we have to do is simplify the sum as much as possible. Uh, all right, so to do that, let's call the sum x. So uh, if we call the sum x, then we can view it as being a plus b, where a is what's in maroon here, and b is what's in blue here. Yeah, and then x squared will be a plus b all squared, which is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Note that this is going to allow us to do some nice things. For example, a squared is going to allow us to get rid of the square root here. And so we could just write 9 over 4 plus root 5. And then b squared at the end is also going to allow us to get rid of a square root. And so we could write uh, 9 over 4 minus root 5 for b squared. Uh, but in the middle with 2ab, we have to write two square roots. And we'll do something about that in the next step, which is instead of two square roots, we can write a single square root, right? Okay, cool. So we'll do that next. But first, notice that uh, from a squared, we have plus root 5. And from b squared, we have minus root 5. So those guys can cancel each other. And then the 9 over 4 from a squared and then the 9 over 4 from b squared can combine to an 18 over 4, which will later reduce to uh, 9 over 2, right? Okay, cool. Uh, all right, so doing all that, uh, we could write x squared like this here on the right side, right? Okay, that is the 9 over 4 is combined to 18 over 4. The plus root 5 and minus root 5 took care of each other. And then the 2ab, like I said, we can write a single square root, and that's done in this way. Now, inside of the square root and the quantity 2ab, um, we have a difference of square situation. We have like u plus v times u minus v situation. And u plus v times u minus v is going to be, by difference of squares, u squared minus v squared. So what I'm saying is inside the square root here, we can write 9 over 4 squared minus root 5 squared. That is 81 over 16 minus 5 uh, inside of the square root here. So if we do that, then x squared is going to uh, be this, which is 18 over 4 plus 2 times, as I said, uh, 81 over 16 minus 5. And then getting a uh, common denominator inside the square root will mean that we write the minus 5 as minus 80 over 16, which is minus 5, right? And then uh, we see that inside the square root, we're going to get 1 divided by 16. And the square root of 1 over 16 is 1 over 4. So 2 times 1 over 4 is going to say 1 half. So we have 9 halves plus 1 half, basically. Yeah? Okay, cool. So uh, all that is this. Uh, as I said, the 81 over 16 minus 80 over 16 is 1 over 16, and the square root of that is 1 over 4. 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 half, so we have 9 halves plus 1 half, which is 10 over 2, which is 5. So x squared is equal to 5. Remember, our sum to start was called x, and that's what we needed to find. Since x squared is equal to 5 after all, x must be root 5. Yeah? All right, cool. Um, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this problem, and uh, um, more videos in this video series to come, but I'm going to uh, take a break uh, in this video series for a little bit, so uh, I hope you re-watch and enjoy uh, the videos I've made in this series so far. All right, take care.